The certification tests for the AV-901 propeller have started in Moscow at one of the sites of the Ural Civil Aviation Plant, known as UZGA. The AV-901 is designed for the light multipurpose aircraft, LMS-901 Baikal. This information was reported by the press service of the Federal Air Transport Agency, Rosa Viazia. Following the replacement of foreign components, the AV-901 propeller is now paired with the indigenous VK-800SM engine. The AV-901 is a turboprop or hydromechanical airscrew intended for use on light Russian-made aircraft. Aluminum alloys and polymer composites are frequently used in modern aviation propellers of medium power. These materials improve aerodynamic efficiency. They also increase operational durability and provide the necessary strength while keeping the propeller light in weight. The design of the AV-901 follows the principles of import substitution and adaptation to Russian conditions. It is built to withstand severe climates and unpaved airfields. The main goal is reliability, efficiency, and compliance with domestic aviation standards. The materials and design are chosen to meet Russian certification rules, as well as ensure long-term strength and durability. The testing facilities were inspected by Viktor Primak, Director of the Aviation Register of Russia, and by Andrei Dobryakov, Deputy Director of Rosa Viatsia. They were informed about the progress of the tests. The static and fatigue tests of the propeller parts are carried out under federal aviation rules. These rules are set out in a program approved by the Aviation Register of Russia. Certification experts are conducting the tests. They work under the supervision of a special group formed by the agency. Uzege is modernizing the LMS-901 Baikal aircraft to replace its imported engine with a domestic one. This is done under a contract with the Ministry of Industry and Trade of Russia. The work includes installing the AV-901 propeller together with the VK-800SM engine. The project budget exceeds 10.36 billion rubles. Uzige plans to complete the work by the end of 2027. Propeller testing is expected to finish by December 2025. The design documents will also be modified as part of the process. In November 2025, the facility will begin refining experimental aircraft samples with the VK800SM engine. The design documents for the LMS-901 will be adjusted. The fifth prototype of the LMS-901 is expected to be completed by December. Static and preliminary tests are scheduled before the year ends. The AV-901 propeller is mainly seen as a replacement for foreign-made propellers used on the LMS-901 and similar aircraft. It replaces Western propellers originally supplied by American or European companies. Those foreign propellers, often made by Hartzell or Doughty, are known for advanced composite materials, efficiency, and low noise. The LMS-901 Baikal originally used the General Electric H8200 turboprop engine, a Czech-American product. The first prototypes of the Baikal were meant to fly with this engine. The propeller that went with it was likely manufactured by Hartzell, a U.S. company often paired with GE H80 engines. The AV-901 may not be as advanced as the latest Western propellers that use cutting-edge materials. However, it is intended to be affordable, reliable, and compliant with Russian safety standards. Western propellers usually benefit from decades of testing and refinement. The AV-901 instead focuses on Russian needs. It uses aluminum alloys and composites suitable for harsh climates and rough airfields. It is designed for easy maintenance and compatibility with the VK-800SM engine. This makes it a strategic domestic replacement for foreign propellers, though it lacks the most advanced materials and aerodynamic designs. The LMS-901 Baikal is a Russian utility aircraft built as a replacement for the aging Antonov An-2. It is a high-wing monoplane made mainly of aluminum. It is designed for short, unpaved runways in remote regions. 
The Baikal made its first flight on January 30, 2022. It can carry 9 to 12 passengers or 2,000 kilograms of cargo up to 1,500 kilometers at 300 kilometers per hour. The aircraft has a wingspan of 16.5 meters, a height of 3.7 meters, and a length of 12.2 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is 4,800 kilograms. The design emphasizes adaptability, reliability, and efficiency. It can switch between passenger and cargo versions quickly. Serial production is planned between 2024 and 2026. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.